Hey guys, Super Baby here, back with another video. Before we start with this, remember to subscribe if you're new to this channel, like the video if you do end up liking it, and let's get on into it. So today's video is on this little guy. This is the GPS Mate by Vifly. Full disclosure, I was provided this product for free uh, for the sake of this video, but I will not be changing my opinions on the product just because of that. I am an honest man, and I will tell you exactly what I think about this product. Let's get to it. So what exactly is this product? On their actual packaging, it lists it as an external power module for the GPS. So what essentially this thing does is you plug in your GPS to this device and this device plugs into your flight controller and it acts as an external battery that way you can power on your GPS before you actually power on your quad and have your GPS fixed before you actually start to play around with your quad and actually arm it. So the primary reason for this product existing is because a lot of pilots, when they have a GPS on their quad, it can't arm until it actually has a few satellites fixed for the quad itself. You can turn that setting off in beta flight, but most people don't because they just want it as a fail safe. Like you, you, you want a few satellites fixed onto it before you actually start up uh, and fly and the process can take a quite a while. Your flight controller can start heating up. It's just kind of an annoying process to actually get a GPS fix sometimes. And this thing mitigates that by actually having a battery on top of it. That's what this little thing right here is. I'll give you a deeper, more uh, zoomed in perspective of the thing, but that's what essentially this product is. It's a battery for your GPS. That way you can turn on your GPS before you actually power on the rest of your quad. That's essentially what it is, and if that sounds inter interesting to you, keep watching the video, and if it, if it doesn't sound interesting to you, then I guess click out of it. So let's talk about the specs of this little guy. Uh, there's just a few main things that I want to touch up on on the specs. The rest of it kind of just seems unnecessary for me to talk about, but let's get started. <laughs> on the Banggood website, this thing is listed to have an input voltage between 5 and 5.5 volts. This little LiPo battery right here is a 3.7 volt 50 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And this has a buzzer on the left side right here that can work up to four hours. The whole LiPo battery itself takes about 1.5 hours to charge up. It has an output current up to 80 milliamp hours and the buzzer volume uh, can go up to 90 decibels. This thing is supposedly supposed to weigh 3.5 grams. I don't have a small scale like all the big YouTubers do to actually give you a precise reading of to, uh, as, how much, as to how much this thing actually weighs, but it's listed to be 3.5 grams. Kind of feels like about 3.5 grams, so why not? Uh, the dimensions are 26 by 20 by eight millimeters, pretty small pretty small thing I, i'll zoom into it in a little bit but that's about it i mean that's really all the specs there really are is and i keep moving all the surrounding stuff but that that's it that's just the specs of the thing it's again a lipo battery for your gps and a buzzer attached to it as well that's really what it is so it exactly comes with this thing when you purchase it first of all it comes in this really nice plastic box very nice very high quality box the item itself is pretty sweet and really small item in this nice bubble wrap and yeah and then it comes with a thank you card for purchasing the vfly product and then a little piece of paper that has lots of crucial information uh, with a wiring diagram a how to set up and a spec sheet on it as well do not throw that paper away and then it comes with a bag of goodies with a clear heat shrink inside of it and a open-ended four pin JST connector and a four pin or four wire JST harness with crimped edges for the JST connector I just mentioned and then a five pin five wire harness uh, with solderable ends as well and that's pretty much it that's a, that's everything that it comes with pretty sweet pretty minimal packaging minimal stuff but everything to get you up and running and potentially enjoying the product. So now let's talk about whether or not you should actually buy this product, why this product ex exists, who this is meant for, how much this costs, all the fixings. So let's get started. So this thing runs for about $15.99 on Banggood and the VFly website, which is a great deal. It's not, it's not overpriced and not underpriced. It's really at that sweet spot, which is great. 
this thing is meant for people who have a GPS on their quad. I, I really don't think anyone should buy this if you don't have a dang GPS on your quad. It's literally called a GPS mate. So if you don't have a GPS on your quad or you know you don't plan on actually putting a GPS on your quad, don't buy this because it's not meant for you. Unless you just want to use it as a buzzer. But <laughs> I mean, if you just want to use it as a buzzer, there are other cheaper options out there. And VFly actually makes buzzers as well if you want to go check their buzzers out. This thing exists because... A lot of people experience issues when they connect their quad and they want to go up and fly and their GPS is just sitting there twiddling its thumbs and, and fingers trying to connect and get a few satellites fixed onto it. This thing solves a lot of those issues again by powering up the GPS separate from the rest of the quad and getting a fix before you actually plug in your light bulb and power up your flight control, your motors and everything. So that's why this thing exists that's why it exists and why anyone should consider buying it it functions exactly as advertised from my testing the onboard lipo battery uh, is is pretty great it's a pretty sizable lipo battery for 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 what it <laughs> what its purpose is but it does also have that beeper function which is great uh, it'll continue to beep for up to about four hours after your quads battery has been either disconnected or your lipo battery is like dead or or something, any sort of disrupt, uh, disruption in its continual power flow from your quad to this thing. Uh, then it'll start to rely on the LiPo battery that's on there and beep for about up to four hours, which is great. So now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to talk about what exactly is going on with it itself. And I'll give you a more of a, a deeper view of the item itself. So now that we're zoomed in, we can get a little deeper look into what's going on right here. What exactly is this thing? I'll tell you what goes in where and uh, I'll actually talk about a little bit of the, uh, the wiring schema of this whole thing and let's get started. So obviously this big thing right here is the LiPo battery itself. This right here is a four pin JST connector and this is the five pin JST connector. Based on the diagram and the way that I've got it wired up, this four pin actually goes into your GPS and this five pin actually goes into your flight con uh, controller. And on the side right here, we have this little toggle right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a little black nub right here that you can toggle up for a five volt power source or three volt, which is toggle down. For me, it's a three volt for my GPS, so I'm keeping it in the three volt spot. And then I don't know what this is, but this is just pre-done uh, so I don't have to worry about it. This is the beeper itself and this is a little button, this is a little power button. If you hold on to the power button, that's how you kick things off and actually get your GPS powered on without the quad being powered on. I'm gonna flip it over and let's look at the back. Actually, it's upside down, hold up. There we go, looking at the back. We have all the soldering pads if you actually just wanna take this little heat shrink that's on it off and actually just solder right onto the individual pads. I didn't have to do that because I just, I just didn't want to do that. It's extra work. You have all these extra pads that are in here. There's V out, TX, RX, ground, SC, and SD. This is if you have a compass, I believe. If your GPS has a compass, that's what SC and SD is for. Ground, RX, TX, 5 volt, and I believe that says BZ, which is buzzer. That's for your buzzer. SC, SD, again, that's for your compass if your GPS has a compass on it. Uh, there are other pads right here, but that's not, I don't think that's anything to worry about. I, I don't know what that does. I'll be honest. I have no idea what that, those four pads are for. But yeah, that's it. That's It's a very simple product. It's very easy to actually plug in and everything. Um, and I'll actually kind of explain to you what I did to plug things in. So now what I'm going to do is actually show you how to wire everything up. This is the wiring diagram on the screen. And I am going to start with step one, which is taking this little piece right here and filling it up with the appropriate wires based on the diagram right here and this wire harness with the crimped edges. It's very simple. All you have to do is take the appropriate edge and just shove it into this thing. It's very simple. Uh, I, I have a tutorial video linked at the top right. Um, uh, just about like how to actually put this, these crimped edges into one of these JST plugs. If you actually want to learn how to, it's over there in the top right. It's very simple, it's very easy. I'm gonna put these wires into this little thing right here, based on the di diagram right here. And then I'll be back to explain to you what exactly is going on. So now I have my GPS right here. This is a BN220 from previous videos. And then I have the GPS mate right here as well. 
I have plugged in the wires after I put the wires into the little wire harness, G JST plug thing, and bada boom bada bam, we have it right here. Let me explain to you what's going on. If you actually look at the diagram and you know, kind of did it based on the diagram, it's exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna explain to you what's going on. So on the bottom right here, I have the ground wire going into the ground wire of or the ground area pin of the GPS itself. Okay, now where it gets confusing is with the RX and TX wires. We have this white wire coming out of the Vifly GPS mate. Coming out is from the RX pad or the RX area. And that white wire is going all the way through here into not the RX, but the TX area of the GPS, okay? The same goes with the green wire. The green wire coming out of the GPS mate is the TX area, and it's gonna go all the way into the RX area. So TX to RX and RX to TX. If you've seen my how to uh, put together a GPS in your quad video, it's the same concept, just the TX and RXs are flipped. So the TX of one thing goes into the RX of the other thing, the RX of one thing goes to the TX of the other thing. Okay, the red wire and the black wire, red being power and black being ground, are the same. So ground to ground and power to power. But RX and TXs are, are flipped. Now, I'm going to plug in the other wire harness and tell you how that works onto the flight controller. Because that's the next step. That's pretty much the next step and the last step. At this point, if you want to make sure your wire harness is working appropriately, all you have to do is go to the back right here and hold that button for just about a second or two it'll make a beep and glow green and this will glow blue and then once it's once there's like a little red light right here that means I have a GPS fix but I do not get a GPS fix indoors as I am indoors uh, but that's the basic concept now you know that there's power actually getting into the device but a boom bada bam easy as that and to turn it off all you have to do is just hold it down again and it'll beep three times and it the green light will turn off and so will the little blue light right there so you know you did that step first step successfully knowing that your GPS powers on after you power after you turn on your GPS mate. All right, so this next step is is the final step. It's really easy. It's very simple. All you have to do is after you plug in the wire harness, you want to solder all your wires appropriately onto an open UART just like how you would solder the GPS directly onto your flight controller. This is just a flight controller little metal diagram that came with my F722 and that I will be using for the sake of this part of the video. Sorry about the red tape. This whole ensemble, ensemble kept moving around on me when I was trying to make the video. Uh, but yeah, so right here I have a ground, a 5 volt, a TX3, and a, or sorry, a TX5 and RX5. And what you want to do is just straight up just do the same thing that you've been doing for pretty much every other component on your flight controller, on your quad, and just solder everything together. The soldering part is also kind of tricky, just like before, RX of one thing goes to the TX of another, and the TX of one thing goes to the RX of another. It's opposite, not TX to TX, it's always TX to RX, and not RX to RX, it goes from RX to TX, okay? So, based off of that, I have my ground 5 volt TX5 and RX5 right here. And I'm going to take this ground wire, this black wire is ground. Okay, the first wire on the top, the black wire is ground. And I'm going to put it into the ground pad right here. The next wire coming out of the ViFly is the RX wire. So the white wire is the RX coming from out of here. And what do we do? We take that RX and put it into the TX5 region because we want the RX from the ViFly GPS mate to the TX5 of your flight controller. Next, the green wire. The green wire coming out of your GPS mate is from the TX part. Okay, so this is the TX coming out and you want it to be plugged into or soldered onto your RX of your flight controller, okay? Now we got the hard part over with. All you have to do now is take the red wire, which is your power wire, your five volt wire, plug it into or solder into your five volt pad and you're pretty much good to go. The bottom yellow wire is the buzzer, and if you want to attach your buzzer, I think I have a buzzer one right here. So I have a buzzer pad right here, a buzzer negative. You take that yellow wire and solder it onto the buzzer negative. Now you have beta flight control over your buzzer. So it's as easy as that. 
It's what I'm I've I've done with my second one on my seven inch quad. Wiring diagram is hopefully I've got the wiring diagram somewhere for each of the portions. Step one, putting the wire harness together. Step two, plugging it into this thing appropriately. Step three, plugging the wire harness into this. And then step four is just soldering it onto your flight controller. As easy as that, everything should work perfectly fine. If you have any questions, please do comment down below. I will not hesitate to answer. I will answer your questions, hopefully to the best of my abilities. Now, the final part that I actually want to talk about and kind of a crucial part is the placement of this thing. You know where to put your GPS, you know where you to put all the other stuff. This one thing I would not suggest shoving into some random corner of your quad. I would say you want to place this in some area where this button is easily accessible because then you can turn on and turn off the light bulb on here to power on your GPS. Uh, to whenever you want. Putting this in an easily accessible place is important because that power button needs to be accessible and that's really it. That's I think that's the last thing that I, I'm going to talk about in terms of actually putting this thing together. Now again, if you want to solder anything onto it, you can just take off the heat shrink and just solder onto each of these pads the same way, uh, the same wiring schema way uh, that I explained to you how to do the wire harness and stuff. It's as simple as that. This is a simple, easy product. Uh, key things to remember. If you don't have GPS, do not buy this. And if you don't plan on putting a GPS on, do not buy this because this is meant for your GPS to be powered on before your quad even gets powered on, like the rest of the quad gets powered on, okay? This is a great product. This is a product that I would highly recommend to pretty much anyone with a GPS on their quad or plans to put a GPS on their quad because of how useful it is. Honestly, this made getting a GPS fix in random locations a lot easier and getting a GPS fix in general easier because you don't even notice your GPS working in the background while you're setting up the rest of your other quads or you're setting up your battery or whatever because it just finds a fix while you're setting everything else up and you don't have to waste time just sitting there with your quad powered on and your flight controller heating up and the VTX heating up <laughs> and everything else. It's just, it's a great device. It's a very unique device and it's great. I think everyone should get one of these if um, your budget permits and if you have a, whatchamacallit, if you have a GPS on your quad. I think that, that's pretty much it for the final remarks. I think it's a great device. Uh, be careful when you wire it up. If you have any questions, please do comment down below and also place this in a great spot on your quad. That way you don't have any issues uh, reaching that button that you, you want to get access to. Okay, so that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're new to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. So now the thing that everyone skipped to at the very end, uh, the giveaway. I'm gonna make things super, super simple. There's only two steps that you gotta do. You don't even have to like or subscribe the video, uh, subscribe to the channel or like the video or anything. All you gotta do is just comment down below anything you want. Just put a comment in the in, in the comment section and go to the link in the description or the pinned comment and submit in the Google Forms the name of your account that you use to put the comment in the in the comment section and the email associated with it. That way, I can contact you. Uh, whether it, if you want, uh, if if you didn't win, I won't contact you. But if if you won, I'll contact you. Um, and please do not enter if you are outside the United States. I will only ship to the United States. I'm not going to ship anywhere outside of the United States. Only the United States. Okay. I'm sorry. I I'm not big enough and rich enough to to be shipping stuff outside the United States. But that's about it for the giveaway. Uh, I will end it on August sixth. So best of luck to everyone and have a good day.